Hi, uh, my name is Nancy. Uh, today, uh, I will go on sharing a story with you. The story's name is The Road to Happiness. Uh, if you look around at the men and women who you can call happy, you will see that they all have certain things in common. The most important of these things in an activity which at most gradually builds up something that you are glad to see coming into existence. Women who take an instinctive pleasure in their children can get this kind of satisfaction out of bringing up a family. Artists and authors and and men of science get happiness in this way if their own work seems good to them. But there are many humbler forms of the of the kind of pleasure. Many men who spend their working time in the city devote their weekends to voluntary and uh, tell their gardens and when the spring comes they experience all the joys of having created beauty. The whole subject of happiness has, in my opinion, been treated to Solomon. It has been thought that man cannot be happy without the theory of life or religion. Perhaps those who had been uh, rendered unhappy by a bad scenery uh, may need a better scenery to help them to recover it, just as you may need a tonic when you have been ill. But when things are normal, a man should be healthy without tonic and happy without theory. It's a simple thing that really matter. If a man delights in his wife and children and success in work and finds pleasure in the alternation of day and night, spring and autumn, he will be happy whatever his philosophy may be. If, on the other hand, he finds his wife faith faithful, his children's noise unendurable, and the office is a nightmare. If in the daytime he longs for night, and at night stands for the light of day, then what he needs is not a new philosophy but a new regimen, a different diet or more exercise or what not. Man is an animal and his happiness depends on his philosophy more than he likes to think. This is a humble conclusion, conclusion but I cannot make myself disbelieve it. Okay, uh, that is today's story. See you next time. Bye-bye.